what's up guys so today i was supposed to make a video on good on good governance as i had promised but another more important topic hit my mind and so i thought i should talk about it because it's a very critical topic and and i think i'd like to say from here on uh it's important that i get your ears and uh you listen to this because it's very important and as you can see i'm wearing uh, in your jeshi <laughs> and this one is a scarf for Comarok modern healthcare so th those are basically some of the topics which i'm going to be talking about so that's why i'm wearing this so i was reading about a condition called drapetomania which is a condition which the slave masters diagnosed on the slaves uh, so so again this video is not going to have an order it's, it's just going to be a rant just my rant so so drapetomania so it's a condition which the slave masters used to diagnose on slaves if they if working wangehepa if they would run away from the slave where from the places where they had kept the slaves <laughs> and the argument was that the condition of a slave is so good you know so good eh? that a slave should not in any way want to run away from such an environment you know <laughs> but so anyway in fact as uh, i got the term from a paper an article i was reading it's actually a paper yeah uh, it was the title of the paper was psychiatry as a tool for slavery <laughs> and so uh so you you see what used to happen in the early days we black people if you will try to educate yourself if you will try to fight for your fellow slaves if you will try to run away from uh, uh, where you had been uh, captured as a slave you used to be diagnosed as a lunatic in fact you can see people propagating the same thing with this guy called Wajakoya when he tries to to uh, fight for specific uh, rights of liberty you know the right to be allowed to, to use a spe to, to grow or use a specific drug and people t tell say, say say he's crazy and this is a guy who has studied so many degrees and he's very well schooled yet people start saying he's crazy so you can see people propagating the same thing that used to happen uh, back in the days of slavery so in in uh, my point is that medicine has been used as a as a way to demonize people who have studied or people who fight for other people you know you call them crazy and this used to happen to us the blacks during the days of slavery now what is my point you see me i was diagnosed with uh, psychosis and later on it was pronounced to be schizophrenia now let me tell you one specific symptom of schizophrenia the one symptom of schizophrenia is that you usually uh, believe that you are a prophet and you tend to the, see things subliminal things you tend to be very spiritual so you see things in the spirit now let me ad ask you one question you see you have to separate medicine from spiritualism in medicine there are no things such as spirits medicine is practical Medis medicine is atheist there are no things such as a god or satan so medicine gives you the practical aspect of it right now let me ask you in the bible there are so many prophets for example john was a prophet and he used to see things now would you call those things hallucinations was John a schizophrenic? Was Waiyaki Wahinga a schizophrenic? All the people who who used to be our prophets and who used to be priests and see things in the spirit in the olden days in our traditions across all if you go to across all all tribes which occupied the earth they had a past they did have prophets they did have mediums they did have witches they did have witch doctors they did have sorcerers so are these people were these people schizophrenics so you see we have to create a boundary between medicine and spiritualism and you see me i was diagnosed with with uh, schizophrenia 
And and one of the things which had happened before my spirits came and I st- I, I used to claim that I have the spirit that that was in Waiyaki Wahinga, that the spirit had come to me. And I was trying to tell people. And and you see, the thing is, God, at that time, I had not prayed to God to bless my mouth that I may be able to speak what I am able to see. Because you see, you can see one thing, you can see things in the spirit, but you're not able to speak them because God has not blessed your mouth for you to be able to speak. So when you speak, when you tell people things, they only hear crazy talk. They only hear the talkings of a crazy man because your mouth has not been blessed to be able to speak what you see. And I used to tell people, look, guys, I am having the spirit of this guy named Wayaki Wahinga who prophesied that there will be a railway, uh, that there will be a railway and that there will be white butterflies coming into, into our land. And you know, one thing, if you read uh, John Kiriameti, there is a place where, where he says, I don't remember the book exactly, but it's, uh, I think it's the river and, it's not the river and the source, but it's the river something. But 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 he, he says that before Wayaki Wahinga died, people used to say that he was crazy. But he knew, he knew what he was seeing, you see. He knew, he knew what he was seeing. So my point is, you have to separate the two. And you know, now now here this is me being candid with you and be telling you guys the truth. Fact is that I am a medium. The fact is that I I am able to see things in the spirit. And this this knowledge is entirely up to you, whether you believe it or you don't believe it, or you see the talkings of a crazy man. Shauriako. This is now past the point of, it is now the point of who is going to believe and who is not going to believe. I think uh, it's not, so you, whether you see the talkings of a crazy man or you see the talkings of a man sent by God. So anyway, my point is that uh, they now let me pass the message that I wanted to pass. I believe that there is risk of of election war i'm not sure if it's election war or 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 it is but this is according to the visions that pastor war so so there is a place where he saw that the tribes he explained a very long vision and maybe i should make another video and try and explain his whole vision and the things that he experienced but but there is a place where he says um so so he actually even talks about a guy, the, the, the leader of the youth being hit on the head with a panga and that has something to do with why I dyed my hair on this side but but the point is that he did see tribes take pangas and turn on to each other so there is, the, there is my point is that there is risk of war and especially as we approach this time of election uh, period people should people should pray for repentance and so that we do not shed blood. So that's what I have seen. And basically, I believe that I'm, gifts are meant to be shared. So for me, for me, I will always be sharing my gift without any uh, sort of asking for any sort of subsidiary or anything. Me, I am seeing that there is threat of war. And so we should pray that people do not shed blood. And I think this is an important national message. And so I would adv- I would pray that and I would pray, uh, I would ask you who has watched this video to share it to somebody else. Yeah, yeah. more videos all coming. Have a good day. Peace out.